Good night, good night, little puppy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get a bedtime story tonight? <laughs> Are you gonna brush your teeth? <laughs> awesome, the dogs have just been hanging around me for the last 10 minutes going around only 50 meters away from me and I've been wondering what the heck, there's a pig right here then I smelled it and I came around the corner and this it's been raining really hard all night and smelling in this room and there's got to be a good pig to have done that I'll stand in it like it's deep and fresh and it honks I think that's a mark there yep here it is Wicked. hopefully we hear a bell up in a minute just got the two dogs out mouse and mahi they've just cranked it up there I haven't had a look but I'd say they'd be 100 metres or so now but if he's been hanging around in here his scent and track will just be going all through it and there we go where's he gone it's drizzling lightly so he might be able to give them the slip and I'll be gutted but if this fella gets away just because of how fresh that rooting is right there what else is in my trousers? I can smell it, it's a boar. I'm going to try and find his mark. Yeah, they've definitely got onto his scent and come up this track about 200 metres and just see the clear mark. About a three finger mark, so 90, 100 pound. And um, they've just put the acid on and are 350 metres away. Wet cold native just about to start snowing 400 now so um, the nerves are up there because he's gonna have lots of good hideaways and slippery bits to get through all this hey, pig fern and um, stunted scrubby stuff up here but hopefully they get him bailed in a nice open spot and we can sneak in and um, Get some action. Yeah, fuck. 410. The mark looked pretty fresh and it's been raining, so I don't think that'll have gone off on anything old. But he must have heard us coming maybe and gapped it while they were circling around in front of me. Anyway, I'll keep my ears out and I'll, I'll let you know what happens. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, even, I'll even try and get you some digital eyes and ears there to enjoy the action with. I just hit him in the native. 500 metres away. Trade, yes. They've got it, they're both barking. Okay, I'll come back to you. We've got this guy. G'day guys. Got a Mr. Piggy here. Oh, you can't even see him. I could be telling, ah, oh, there he is, pork pies. Mate, here yeah, mate. Just wanted to say a quick hello to um, my brother Jamie in England. Hopefully he's um, healthy and fighting the good fight. And uh, it's funny the things you think about when you're trudging in the rain through the puddles with your dogs carrying out pigs. I was, I was starting to feel sorry for all the people in Auckland. You know, they're such good people. And I thought I'd have a, have a think about all the great things that they always go on about. Ha! Huh. I don't mind the weight and traffic. You know, it's not that bad. Oh, the weather's always just brilliant. I love the cultural diversity. I like it how they're packing all those houses in everywhere. I don't mind the weather. I don't really mind the weight and traffic. This new motorway's great. You know, there's not that much traffic around. Dogs think I'm crazy. Too long in the bushes. It's okay. Maybe mate, he's got other things on his mind. What are you up to? Hey boy. Man, you're a character. Where do you get it from? Where do you get it from? Where do you get it from? Man, you want to jump deep, man? Get off it, you little bastard. Oh well. Hope Emmanuel and Jamie and Justin are 
having a, an awesome day. Be your summer now. I bet it's like this though. <laughs> When you wake up in the morning at a quarter to four, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth and you go and... When you wake up in the morning at a quarter to four, you go catch balls. You go catch boars, quarter to four.